everyone, I'm Dr. Pragna Shigurupati Nara. I'm a consultant breast specialist and oncologist and an oncoplastic surgeon currently working in Hyderabad. Today's topic is Philode's tumor. What is a Philode's tumor? I'm sure a few of you might have come across this term when you reached out to a doctor at a clinic. A normal breast is generally made up of lobes, ducts, the surrounding glandular tissue, fibrous tissue, and the stromal tissue. Such tumors, that's a Philode's tumor, generally arise from the supportive tissue of the breast. Quite medical, isn't it? What you should know is that when you develop a lump, Philode's tumor is a diagnosis either made clinically but confirmed or pathologically. These tumors generally occur between the ages of 40 and 50, but they can occur at any other age as well. Most commonly when you see a lump which suddenly increases in size to a massive size around 10 to 20 centimeters as well and you see dilated veins, the stretching of the skin with redness of the skin, it's a clinical diagnosis of a, of a Philode's tumor. These tumors might be either benign, borderline or malignant. Again, that's a diagnosis made on pathology. The symptoms are not very different from the other benign breast lumps. These lumps might be very small to large, large sizes, and they have to be differentiated from something called a giant fibroadenoma. So how do you diagnose a Philode's tumor? When you reach out to a doctor at a breast clinic, the first modality is a clinical examination, followed by an imaging with either a mammogram in those women above the age of 40, or with an ultrasound in women below the age of 35. Sometimes, in cases of a suspicious tumor, you might be advised an MRI. The third step is a biopsy. A core biopsy is imperative in cases of a diagnosis of a Philode's tumor to differentiate it from any other kind of tumors. So how do you treat this condition? The treatment for a Philode's tumor is surgical excision. And you might be advised by your doctor if you need radiation or not based on your final diagnosis. You will not require any surgery in the armpit if it is conclusive of a Philode's tumor. Unfortunately, the chances of recurrence in cases of a borderline or malignant Philode's tumor are quite high. You might be put on a follow-up by a doctor annually, at which point you might also be advised a chest x-ray or a CT chest because such tumors might spread to the lungs. In cases of a benign Philode's tumor, you might not require a follow-up. You might be just advised breast self-examination on a monthly basis. Having a good pathologist is of primary importance in cases of a Philode's tumor because sometimes in cases of an inexperienced pathologist, there might be a lot of confusion between a fibroadenoma or a Philode's tumor. So make sure you reach out to a good center with a good pathology department. This is all that you will need to know about Philode's tumors. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me on the numbers given below. We'll come back next week with the next episode on papillomas of the breast.